Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Why Baby Archie might need Prince Charles' permission to get married. While Baby Archie is living a relatively normal life, now that his parents, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, have stepped back from the royal family and are living in Santa Barbara, California, that may not last forever. Meghan and Harry have deliberately kept Archie out of the spotlight. Even though he's royalty, he doesn't bear the title of prince, as his parents chose not to give him a title. When his grandfather, Prince Charles, takes the throne that will change, though, Archie is currently seventh in line to the throne. When Prince Charles becomes king, as the grandson of the monarch, he will automatically become a prince although it will be his choice whether or not he wants to use that title when he turns 18. It's likely that Archie will want to continue to live outside of the royal bubble when that happens, but there still might be one royal rule he will have to follow. Archie may be closer to the throne one day. According to the Succession of the Crown Act 2013, royals who are sixth in line or closer to the throne must ask the monarch for permission to marry. When Prince Charles becomes king, it's likely Archie will then be sixth in line to the throne, unless Kate Middleton has another baby, moving Archie down the line of the succession. It's unlikely, though, that Archie will ever become king. His father, grandfather, and uncle Prince William are all ahead of him, as well as his cousins, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. For now, though, all of that seems to be far in the future, and Archie will likely be able to enjoy a reasonably ordinary childhood, albeit a lavish one. Still, growing up wealthy in California is a far cry from growing up in the heart of the royal family with parents who are working senior royals. A source told Closer Weekly, Harry and Meghan are determined to give Archie a normal life for him to be treated like any other child. Meghan wasn't a fan of royal protocol, so Archie won't be taught any of that. Another report. Meghan Markle is so proud of the example Prince Harry is setting for Archie. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry have slowly been making their way back into the public eye. After stepping down from their positions as working royals, the two tried to remain largely out of the spotlight while they got settled into their new life in America. Now, Meghan is opening up about her life and how proud she is of her husband. Harry considers himself a feminist. Meghan recently sat down with Gloria Steinem for a Maker's interview. During the interview, Harry came up and Meghan revealed that Harry had previously told Steinem that he was a feminist. Meghan gushed over how happy having a feminist husband made her. Meghan hopes Harry will pass on his values. Part of raising a child is setting a good example for them and showcasing what good behavior looks like. Meghan is proud of what Harry is showing their son Archie. It means to be a man. Meghan said, I look at our son and what a beautiful example that he gets to grow up with a father who is so comfortable owning that as part of his own self-identification that there's no shame in being someone who advocates for fundamental human rights for everyone, which of course includes women," Steinem commented. Because then your son will grow up knowing it's okay to be loving and nurturing. Well said. I know it'll mean a lot to him when I share that. How are Meghan and Harry settling into their new life? Prince Harry and Meghan just bought a new home in Montecito, California. The 18,671-square-foot house cost them $14.6 million and has nine bedrooms, 19 bathrooms, a library, a game room, a wine cellar, theater, gym, spa, wet and dry saunas, a pool, tennis court, and a children's cottage. This new Perhis was an important step in them starting their new lives. Omid Scabi, co-author of Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan, and the making of a modern royal family, 
told Entertainment Tonight. One of the most difficult things for Harry and Meghan was moving to the U.S. and not actually having a home of their own. It's been interesting to see this line drawn between Harry and Meghan's decision to move to California to some sort of connection to Hollywood. Of course, they're now living in Santa Barbara, a hundred miles away from Los Angeles. The Sussexes now have a number of famous neighbors, including Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres, and Myla Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. Scabby said, I think moving slightly out of the city and somewhere where other celebrities are able to enjoy privacy, such as Oprah or Ashton Kutcher and Myla Kunis, they're really able to now create a safe place to raise Archie, away from prying eyes. Having Meghan's mom, Doria Ragland, around has been a big plus for Meghan as well. Scabby said, Daria is a big helpful hand in their lives and one of the reasons that they chose to be in California in the first place. I think for them, it was really only over a matter of the UK or the US to be near one side of the family or the other. Santa Barbara is a place Meghan has visited many times, but of course they visited Oprah's place. Well, I'm sure they would have been very impressed by the place that she has and wanted a slice of it for themselves. Another analysis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle didn't get their dream Mexic plan, which would have cleverly given them best of both worlds. For a long time, all eyes were on Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, as they started their new journey as husband and wife and began to carry out royal duties. Meghan, who was formerly a successful actress, seemed to transition into her new role perfectly, and fans around the world were delighted to see her as a member of the royal family. However, things didn't exactly go as the couple planned. The British tabloids were brutal toward Meghan, and despite several requests for them to back off and give the couple privacy, things only got worse as time went on. The royal couple moved away from Kensington Palace, located in London, and headed for the countryside of Windsor, where they hoped to raise their son in a peaceful environment. They didn't get the privacy that they so badly wanted, and in early 2020, made the surprising announcement that they would be stepping down from royal duties. Royal fans were shocked by Mexit. Most people likely never even knew that leaving the royal family was an option, but that is just what Meghan and Prince Harry decided to do. After months of being disappointed with how they were being portrayed in the media, as well as the lack of privacy that came along with royal life, the Duke and Duchess felt that resigning from their roles was the best thing to do. They headed to Canada, and many fans assumed that is where they would stay. But Harry and Meghan soon packed up and moved to Los Angeles, California. Given that the city is where Meghan grew up, we can only imagine that she feels right at home and is ecstatic to be there with her husband and baby Archie. The couple has the added advantage of being nearby Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, who they are reportedly extremely close with. The result of the royal split Leaving the royal family was a little more complicated than anyone imagined it would be, and Meghan and Prince Harry had to make quite a few sacrifices before Mexic was finalized. What did they have to do? Well, the couple is no longer permitted to use their HRH titles, something that Harry had for his entire life, but was relatively new for Meghan. As if that weren't enough, the Duke and Duchess were also required to repay the massive sum of taxpayer money that they used to renovate their home in Windsor. And in one of the most difficult parts of the entire deal, Prince Harry had to give up all of his military titles upon leaving the family. The couple was also required to give up public funding, and now that they are living in the United States, they are paying all of their security costs out of pocket. However, Prince Harry's father, Prince Charles, will continue to provide a portion of the couple's income, which will no doubt ease the financial aspect brought on by Mexit. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle didn't get their dream Mexit plan. Now that Mexit is official, 
Did it turn out exactly the way Meghan and Prince Harry had hoped? Not so much. The couple's dream makes it plan would have given them the best of both worlds, and that is not the way things panned out. So, what have they been envisioning? Apparently, the couple didn't plan to completely give up royal duties and leave their positions completely. According to the new book, Finding Freedom, he and Meghan didn't want to completely walk away from the monarchy. Rather, they wanted to find a happy place within it. Fans can only hope that Meghan and Harry find happiness in their new journey independent of the royal family. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.